Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Caffrey and I head up the Invasive Species section with Inland Fisheries Ireland. The plant I have behind me here and around me on the banks of the Barrow Canal is a highly invasive species. It's a riparian species but also grows in terrestrial habitats and it's a plant known as the Japanese knotweed. Latin name is Pelopia japonica. It's one of four invasive knotweed species that we have in Ireland. Uh, the others are the giant knotweed, the bohemian knotweed, which is also the hybrid knotweed, and the Himalayan knotweed. The others are also available on the web website should you wish to have a look at them. The Japanese knotweed is probably one of the more widespread and more notorious of the riparian invasive species that we have in Ireland. It's particularly notorious because of its very strong, extensive and perinating root or rhizome system. The rhizome system is capable of growing to 3 metres deep and to 7 metres beyond the parent plant. It is also very, very strong and it is capable of damaging foundations of buildings. Uh, some economic work conducted in, in Britain recently has shown that Japanese knotweed has cost in the region of 166 million pounds sterling to the economy. This is cost of impact and control. So it really is quite a notorious plant. It's also a very widespread plant and without question spreading widely in Ireland currently. Japanese knotweed spreads primarily by fragmentation. Uh, while the plant produces flowers and seeds, as you will he see here behind me, the seeds, if they are produced, tend not to be viable. So the primary method of spread is through fragmentation. That is, small, small parts of the plant. Parts as small as this are very capable of rooting and forming new populations. The plant is reasonably easy to identify. As you can see behind me, the plant grows to two and a half to three meters in height. The stems are robust and pretty bamboo-like. When cut, you can see that they're hollow. They also have distinctive red flecks along the stem. Towards the base, they're particularly strong. Towards the top, they're less strong and more branched in Japanese knotweed. The leaf arrangement on Japanese knotweed is alternate. You can see the arrangement here and it gives a distinctive zigzag pattern to, to the plant. Again, this is reasonably characteristic of knotweeds and this zigzag particularly characteristic of the Japanese knotweed. The leaves themselves are typically a very bright green. So they actually stand out against the background of the normal vegetation. By and large, they're heart-shaped with distinctive point. What is most characteristic in the Japanese knotweed is the very flat base. Hopefully you'll be able to see it here in this picture. Very flat base. In the other knotweed species, the leaves are cordate or they're indented. Here, they're very flat. And the leaves rarely are larger than 15 to 20 centimeters. Certainly I haven't seen Japanese knotweed leaves larger than 20 centimeters in length. That is from the base to the point. As I said, Japanese knotweed is a particularly notorious plant, spreading widely in Ireland. So I would certainly recommend that you would not bring this plant with you and certainly do not transplant it from one location to another.